The Kugelblitz isn't just a great name for a fast casual Jewish restaurant, it's a black hole made of light. So hopefully by now we all know what black holes are, regions of space so dense that their gravity is too strong for even light to escape. Usually these form by a star imploding, but when light falls into them their mass increases according to E equals mc squared. But surely you couldn't make one entirely out of light, right? Right? According to Einstein's general relativity, you can. In fact, this shouldn't be so surprising. After all, gravity doesn't care about whether the energy in a region of space comes from rest mass or from any other source. It only cares that there's energy there. And that means that even light itself can warp space-time. And so as long as there is enough electromagnetic energy concentrated in a small enough region, space-time will warp so significantly to produce a black hole. A Kugelblitz. Solutions to the Einstein field equations that give rise to such a black hole were first presented by Robinson and Troutman in 1962, but they weren't identified with black holes produced by collapsing radiation until 1998 by Lemos. In 2014, it was observed by Senavia that this radiation takes the form of monochromatic electromagnetic radiation. Put another way, lasers. Now these solutions aren't the black holes you know, they're not spherically symmetric and they only form in anti-de-sitter spacetime, well ours is likely something like de-sitter spacetime. But they have event horizons and they have singularities. They are black holes. And even though the simple solutions as described can't happen in our universe, it suggests that they're possible, perhaps in our universe. So do they exist? Tune in tomorrow to find out. <laughs>